Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing so well. Yesterday, I figured out that Canva has actually made it so easy to avoid repetitive tasks when you're working on the platform. And let's say, for example, you have designed a business card for an agency and usually with business cards, it comes with having it in other people's names and details because it's going to be shared among staff, you know, and this can be daunting when you always have to duplicate and change the details. But in this case, you don't have to do that anymore. There's a very easy way to get it done inside of Canva and I'm going to show you how how you can do this and i think the same would work with certificates because that would also require you duplicating and changing names and changing you know details and so many things so let's see how we can avoid these repetitive tasks when we are designing inside of canva so before we get into it if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe to this channel because we are trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of this year we can even hit it before the end of this year so please make sure to join this family and if you're on the free version of canva there's a link Link in the description box below that you can use to upgrade to Canva Pro for free so make sure to check that out as well let's dive straight into it all right so let's assume this was a business card i actually designed for an agency and like i was saying the initial process i would have to embark on to few different versions is duplicating it coming here changing the names maybe tesh you know val let's say tesh val and i come here to change managing director this can be so annoying if you have a lot of names and details to change okay but we are not going to do that all you need to do is to come here into apps let me show you so come into apps and in apps make sure you're searching for ball kit okay and in bulk kit yeah let's press enter so in bulk kit you have these two options enter data manually or upload csv and i would always advise you go in with the csv this makes it very easy but you can also go with enter data manually but let's check what it actually entails so when we come to enter data manually so you can see we have name and email these are some of the information on the business card so you can just enter all of that over here but i would just want us to go with upload csv okay so in this case what we can do is we can just come into google sheets okay so google sheets so this is what you can do you can make your client actually fill in the table with the names and details of the various people they want you to create the business cards for okay so let's say we have something like this you can see i have the name position phone number and email and these are some of the things maybe they want on their business cards okay so you can see this is a sample spreadsheet over here and we have the full name position phone number and email if we come to canva the name position phone number and email these are the main things we need to change for each person okay so all we are going to do is to come to the file and download okay so download but make sure you're choosing csv which is the comma separated values then it should download beautifully so you can see it's downloaded in here then let's come back into canva and i'll choose upload csv okay then i would head on to my downloads and downloads this is it select it and we can see it gives us the various columns we have on our spreadsheet okay so what you need to do is make sure that we are linking the details here to the spreadsheet so the name we right click come to connect data full name okay then we have position also over here so right click come to connect data and choose position the full number right click connect data to the phone number and we have the email address right click connect data and come to email so once you have all of these things linked you should see that we have this check mark which has now been attached to the various columns on our csv file okay then come to continue and you know everything looks good and create gen you know generate nice designs so canva should create all of that for us and you can see the work has been done for us very very easy and simple one thing i would highly recommend you do before you even hit on the generate designs is make sure that the spacing in your text is enough so that it doesn't get to look weird after everything has been generated because you'd want to make sure that everything is looking clean after the designs have been generated okay and you can see everything is looking very nice and that's all it's very easy very simple i hope you found this helpful if you did please share this video with anyone who uses canva and yes just in case there's also a tutorial you want me to create you can leave it in the comment section below the name is ben Benjamin, always remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Peace.